Loz, what are your thoughts on Khloe Kardashian's self-concept in relationships? Oh my God. I just saw this video today of the latest episode where she's talking about why her and Tristan now live together all because his mum died. I'm like, Chloe, just because his mum fucking died, it doesn't mean you have to take him and his disabled brother into your house. You're not the Samaritans. He's a millionaire. He can go and buy his own house. He can come and visit. Fucking hell. She's got such an overgiving, people-pleasing mentality. It's so sad to watch. And people go, oh, she's the good sister. She's so good to everyone. No, she's got like zero self-esteem and lets people fucking walk all over her because she thinks if I'm good to you, you'll be good to me. But unfortunately, she's so good to everyone and they treat her like crap. Most people treat Chloe like crap in relationships. She's never been treated well in relationships ever. And she gives, 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 give to them and they do nothing but shit on her. Then when they've shat on her, she goes, okay, I'm getting a backbone. And then they, they something happens and they go, oh, she goes, oh, I'll come back. Then they shit on her again. So sad to watch because she's such a lovely person. And I know that she's doing it out of the kindness of her heart and she's the kindest soul. And you want to wrap her up in cotton wool and be like, Chloe, stop. But she was the tall sister, the fat sister, the ugly sister, the one who wasn't the prettiest, the one who didn't get the attention, the one who had to give to get love because she wasn't getting love from being hot. She wasn't getting love from being pretty. She wasn't getting love from being famous. She wasn't getting love for anything else other than giving, was she? And is she the person who does everything for everybody? Is she the person who looked after Kylie and, and Kendall when everyone else pissed off? She was practically their mum. She gave, 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 gave in the hope that people would love her. Then she's also got this horrible, terrible story hanging over her head that Rob Kardashian isn't even her dad. So imagine what that does to a person. Oh, gee, you look nothing like your sisters. Are you sure your mum didn't have an affair with that Armenian guy that looks exactly like you called Chris? Isn't your middle name Chris? No, no. What's his name? Not Chris. What's his name? Not Chris. Imagine that. Imagine having that hanging over your head. The whole time people go, you look like you're adopted. Are you sure you're one of those sisters? You don't have dark hair. You're lily white. You're super tall. Are you sure? No, not OJ. No, no, OJ isn't a dad, guys. Who's the guy I'm thinking about? His name is, it's a middle name. What's her middle name? <laughs> oh, she's got his, her middle name is his name. No, not Todd. Alexandra. So his name's Alex Rodan. And her, and why did I say Chris? His name is Alex Rodan. Go and look him up. He and Chloe look identical. He's super tall. He's also Armenian. And her middle name is Alexandra and his middle and his name is Alex. And he was Chris Jenner's hairdresser at the time that Chloe was conceived. Okay. <laughs> Imagine that hanging over your head. And then you've got a dad who you love, who you know is your dad, and then you've got that horrible, horrible story hanging over you. She has his eyes. It's, like, creepy. When you see their pictures together, you're like, um, fuck. So isn't she trying to prove all the time that she's the best Kardashian? Look how much of a good Kardashian I am. I'm really a Kardashian. I really am. What is O.J. Simpson's self-concept? You know what's so funny? I met some people the other day whose daughter has met O.J. and her best friend is best friends with O.J. and she's got pictures with O.J., with her arm around O.J., sitting in O.J.'s house. And the mum's like, I don't think my daughter quite understands who O.J. is because she's so young she doesn't get it. And I keep trying to explain it to her. And she goes, oh, no, he didn't do it. And the mum's going, you're hanging out with a murderer. Get away from him. <laughs> he just thinks he's invincible got a very good self-concept but his self-concept was jealousy and you know all kinds of fucked up stuff they do look very similar it's sad clearly very good he has stayed out of prison on like everything lol exactly he thinks he's invincible he thinks no one can touch him he's got a very good self-concept except for the murdering part um the way people treat her because they reflect her self-concept Exactly. And then you look at then you look at Courtney right now 
And even though Courtney looks like she's living her best life and I've got the love of my life and la la la, what she's actually doing, if you really watch Courtney, Courtney morphs herself into whoever she is dating. She wears what they wear. She is like they are. So when she was with Scott, she was always wearing preppy stuff and, and bow ties and shirts and little skirts and dressed like his preppiness when he originally used to wear all the suits, right, when he was the Lord. She dressed like that. Now she dresses like fucktard, what's his name? What's his name? Travis. Now, if you watch Travis and his original wife, Shana, on their reality TV show, the over-the-top, licking each other's faces, sticking your tongue down each other's throat, grabbing each other's asses in front of their children, PDA, is exactly what Courtney and him do now. And yet, when Travis was in love with Kim, do you know what he said about her? I treated her, I was a gentleman with her. I wasn't like, I wasn't like I was with other women with Kim. She's so sweet and so kind and such a lady, I couldn't do that with her. And yet here he is with Courtney, grabbing Courtney's ass, sticking his tongue down her throat in front of all these people like he did with Shana, and yet he never treated Kim like that. And why do you think Kim and Courtney are now having a falling out? because his book came out admitting that he actually was in love with Kim the whole time he was with Paris Hilton and moved to Calabasas to be near Kim. And Courtney has always had this thing hanging over her head that Kim's the more famous one, Kim's the more popular one, Kim is the one that mum loves more, Kim, 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 Kim. And then she finds out that the guy she's fallen in love with and married is actually, was actually, moved to be her neighbour to be near her sister. She's doing that to just distract him from Kim. I, I think so too. And she doesn't want him, he, she doesn't want Kim around him, does she? So if you got married to a guy and you knew he was once in love with your sister, what would you do? You would have a falling out with the sister so she's not around anymore, wouldn't you? Back and begging, part three, out on Monday in the squad. Squad has so many perks. Back and begging, make them obsessed. Q&A forums and lives, advanced coaching, mental Monday, so many successes, subconsciousloss.com. Guys, the squad's a no-brainer. If you haven't joined, I mean, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> really. 35 bucks, 35 dollars. She wanted to feel chosen over Kim, who's the favourite. Exactly. And even though Courtney's the eldest, Kim's the favourite. And then Kylie came along and she was the favourite. What should Court do? Court needs to work on her self-concept of feeling second best. She always feels second best. And that's why she feels not heard and not seen and like, you know, guys don't listen to me. You don't want what I want right? And then she has to go to a therapist for the therapist to point out to her what her self-concept is. You think like, and, but the therapist was an idiot and started saying it was everyone else around her. They don't listen to you. They're bad people. All they want is fame. You've got to voice your feelings, voice your feelings. So she started voicing her feelings and becoming this absolute loony tune who was constantly saying everything that she felt because she'd never done that before. If you watch Courtney before, Scott could propose to her and say he loved her and she'd be like, that's nice. She had like, poker face. She had like zero emotions. So she went from stuffing all her emotions down, having a massive wall around her and constantly being this stoic, I don't care, to like ah, ah, and crying and expressing every fucking emotion when she went to that therapist. And so her whole family were like, are you feeling all right? Are you all right? And even Chloe, um, even Kylie and Kendall feel like that about her. You can see them all going, can you calm the fuck down? It's like, what happens? That's She's a typical case of someone who held things down and held things down and held things down under the surface for so long, never expressed their emotions, and now they express them too much and scare everyone away with all their shit and blame everyone else for all their problems. And everyone's like, Courtney, we're just reflecting you. Now we're reflecting the story that you think we're against you. Now we're reflecting the story that you think you're different from us. So now we're all being very fucking different. Don't want you around us. See how this works. It's thought reflection, you silly bitch. Stop going to your dumb therapist where she tells you to express yourself. All you're doing is pushing us away. Her family has a group chat without Courtney that's called not Courtney. Imagine that. How bad must your self-concept be to feel like the black sheep and the person who isn't as popular and isn't as wanted for you, for your whole family to have created a group chat about you called Not Courtney? Mm-hmm.
She never gets chosen. Exactly. And you know how she got together with Scott? She didn't even like Scott when she got together with him. But the reason why she got together with him was because the guy from Guys Gone Wild, Girls Gone Wild, didn't want Courtney, was with Courtney and said, oh, can you take her off my hands? She's driving me crazy. And he set Courtney and Scott up because he was sick of her. And she didn't even like Scott at first. She thought he was an idiot. And then Scott spent the entire relationship cheating on her. And if he wasn't drunk or taking drugs, he was cheating on her. What about Taylor Swift's self-concept relationship? Oh, we could be here all day doing celebrity self-concept, just couldn't we, guys? <laughs> I actually don't know Taylor Swift's story well enough to give a full rundown of her self-concept and relationships, but I certainly have a story. She must have a story that they don't last because they never last her relationships, do they? Ever. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to go soon. Do you think her self-concept will cause Travis to leave? So I think what will happen is with her, I would really love for that not to be the case. But I think once she has her baby, they won't be as overtly sexual and maybe loved up as they were before. And then because he doesn't give her the same PDA as he did before, she'll start thinking, oh, is there something wrong with me? Is he not attracted to me anymore? Or she'll start getting distracted with the baby and feeling like she can't give him the time and he's going to not like it. And then they'll slowly, maybe, and this I hope this doesn't happen, then their relationship will start to change. It may not fall apart, but it may the dynamic might change. And maybe it should change because watching them all over each other all the time on the show is kind of like after a while you're like, I can't actually watch this. You like sitting on each other's private parts at a fucking home open in front of the realtor and the realtor's like walking out there and they're grinding away on a, back, a chair in the backyard and you're like, it's like they're teenagers. It's, re it's really like off-putting. You're like, it's really hard to watch. You're like, guys, just just chill your beans. Just, just turn it down just a little. <laughs> anyway, I hope that doesn't happen. I feel bad for Courtney kids. They see their mum like that. I, well, there's episodes where they're like, mum, can you please not? And they're like, they actually had to make a little book to say how many kisses they could have during the day and how many cuddles and everything. And they're like, you've used up all your kisses for the day. Like imagine your kids being so grossed out that they make a little book saying, you're only allowed to X amount of kisses with each other per day because we're completely grossed out. <laughs> you imagine. Lowest self-concept course was really eye-opening. Oh, thank you, Mary. What? Why do some coaches say not to take things personally when in fact everything is you pushed out? Well, not to take things personally in the way they're reflecting it back to you. So go, the way you're showing up for me is just me pushed out. So I'm not going to get take it personally or get hurt by the way you're treating me because it's only you treating me the way I'm reflecting out. You understand? That's why they're saying it. Mm -hmm. And caught in the wedding drama, oh, even the outfit she wore. It's like, was that a wedding dress? Like I can understand Kim going, is that what you're wearing? <laughs> That's what you wear at the party afterwards. What's that? That's what you wear on the night of the wedding. What are you wearing? <laughs> no judgment, Courtney, but like, where was the rest of it? That was for him. She wouldn't have worn that dress if she got married to Scott. Courtney doing all that just for Travis' attention, feeling not enough. And then she's upset. This is what I can't understand about the wedding. She literally admits, sorry, guys, I, I love the Kardashians, if you can't tell. She literally admits in their Till Death Do Us Part documentary that she basically had no say in the wedding and basically just let, she said, I had an hour meeting with Dolce and Gabbana and just let them, we, we, I put together in like two hours what I wanted and just let them do their thing. And then she's annoyed because she's saying, Kim stole my wedding. No, what Kim did was took on Dolce and Gabbana's aesthetic. It wasn't anything that Courtney had come up with. It was just Dolce & Gabbana's acidic. They planned the whole wedding. They even planned the food. They even had non-gluten fucking spaghetti and she's a gluten freak and so is he. They had meat and he's a vegan. Nothing in their wedding had anything to do with their aesthetic and what they wanted except maybe her saying, oh, yeah, I like 90s Dolce & Gabbana clothes. And they went, okay. They ran the whole thing. They designed the whole thing. She had almost no input. And then she's turning around saying, you stole my ideas. They weren't your ideas, Courtney. They were Stefano and bloody thingy, 
Majiggy Dolce & Gabbana's ideas. She literally just did Dolce & Gabbana again from the 90s. We all know what that looks like. We were there. I was there. I had Dolce & Gabbana posters in my house, in like on my books. I know exactly what that aesthetic was. That's all it is. It's Mon Monica Bocelli. That's all it is. Right? Vincent. They have horrible self-concept. They don't love themselves the way they are. Well, they all lose their men, don't they? Just watch those episodes, laugh my ass off. Well, I've, I've, I haven't got to those episodes yet. I'm too busy. I haven't got to those episodes. Don't tell what happens. Well, I keep seeing it all over TikTok, obviously. What's this? I could listen to us talk about this concept all day. <laughs> uh, I love the Kardashian corner. Oh, sorry, guys. I, I really watch that. It's the only show I actually, it's the only television I watch. I literally don't watch anything. Like people talk about, oh, have you seen 365? Have you seen this thing? Have you seen, I haven't seen anything. I don't have time. <laughs> I have Disney Plus just for the Kardashians. You should upload a video on YouTube about the Kardashian self concept. I should. Hopefully they see it. Maybe I should turn that video into a YouTube of me talking about Chloe's self concept and and Courtney's self concept. <laughs> I'll turn that into a YouTube, should I? And then people can watch that.